Meb is uh, exceptionally consistent and uh, in workouts and races. So uh, he's uh, a bit of a coach's dream because if you have an athlete who comes up short uh, uh, for no particular reason, um, then it, it can uh, uh, throw off your planning because you don't know if it's a workout or something else. And of course, at this level, almost all athletes. Uh, uh, produce at a very high level, but Meb is uh, exceptionally consistent and uh, in workouts and races. So uh, he's uh, he's been exceptional in everything he's done. You're strong. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you are moving. What's the first thing on your mind when you wake up in the morning? Oh, it depends on the day. And I have three beautiful girls, and I hear their voice, "Daddy," or they get before they get up before me, or. If I get up with them, and but uh, you know, running is a passion of mine. I try to do it the best that I can, and I still believe that my God-given talent that I talked about in seventh grade still has the potential to grow, and uh, you know, I want to maximize that every day. And you know, it's not just about running, but to be able to recover, do it consistently, day in, day out, is what the you know the making of a champion or the making of a strong career is. Okay. How old were you when you realized you were going to be a runner? <laughs> <laughs> There's two. Uh, seventh grade was when I figured out when I had the given talent. P class. Uh, every Friday we had to run 600 meter or a mile or seven minutes, see how many laps you could run on baseball field. And uh, one seventh grade I ran at 520. And that's when I knew I had a you know, the talent, and if you break 6.15 as a 7th grader, you get to Roosevelt Junior High in San Diego, Roosevelt Junior High Mile Club, and I wanted to get that, so I ran as fast as I can, and the time was 5.20, and the coach, P teacher, uh, uh, Dick Lord said, you know, we have an Olympian here to the high school coach, and then second one is probably when 97 NCAA, when I won the 5K, 10K double, and then the cross country at UCLA, you know, that's when maybe thought this could be a potential future Olympics or profession, but before that. I had uh, 456. Somehow he's managed to uh, ward off, you know, father time, and through consistency and diet and everything else, uh, he's managed to stay fast. Forty-eight. Forty-eight-eight. He clocked two twenty that last half. If you ever wanted to know what it what it takes to be an Olympian, you just have to uh, you know follow Meb around for about an hour or so, and you know watch his consistency, and uh, that's what it comes down to. I think is the amount of time he puts in, what he does, how long he does it, and such. So. And I think it's even more impressive that he has a wife and three kids on top of it. Beautiful place to train. Yeah, it is. And live. And live. <laughs> and sightseeing. Yeah. 
I have fish in skiing that I don't know yet. <laughs> Try skate skiing. Yeah.